Hey everybody, welcome to XFit Daily. I'm Michael Paterino. Today's workout is gonna be full court press. I'm gonna take you through it here. We're gonna start off with squats. Then we're gonna do push-ups, followed by bent over rows. Then alternating lunge jumps. And finally, our overhead press or military press. All right, you ladies ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. First one's gonna be the squat. Here we go, keep your feet about shoulder width apart. You wanna bend down, create about 90 degree angle with your knees. Keep your back a little straighter, straight up. Eyes looking straight ahead, and then come on up. That's one. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. There we go. Keep pressing. Keep your weight kind of in your heels. Feel all that weight in your hamstrings and quads. It's gonna really work your glutes as you come on up. Squeeze those glutes together. Okay, keep it going. We got five more seconds. Two, one more. All right, that's good. Okay, so let's do our push-ups now. Want to get down, we can start from our knees at first. This way we get our right form. Want to have your hands, make sure you keep a 45 degree angle in between your armpits and the side of your body. Okay, I'm gonna press all the way down, almost here about the floor, and then come straight up. Feel that weight, keep it in your elbows. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Keep going, keep pressing, you got it, keep pressing. There you go. Up, all the way down. Up, come on Meryl, go a little bit further down. You got it, you got it, there you go. Five more seconds. Keep going, keep it going, you got it. Breathe, remember to breathe in and blow out on the way up. Next exercise we're gonna do, the bent over row. We'll take our weight, keep it in our right hand. It's gonna concentrate on our lats, the latissimus dorsi, the muscle on your back here. So I want you to bend over, keep about 45 degree angle there in your knees, back to your waist. And then we're gonna roll our weight straight up, right here, really feel that in your lat. You could use your other hand on your leg to keep yourself balanced, straight out like Diane has it. We got five more seconds, switch sides. This one we're doing for 15 seconds each. If you don't have any weights at home like this, you can use a bag, fill it up with some books, some old cans, whatever you got, add a little weight for yourself, okay? Five more seconds, nice and slow and controlled. Really feel it. All right, now we're gonna go on to our next workout, the alternating lunge jumps. All right, this is gonna work our legs again, just like we did before with the squats. Okay, you ready? Start out in a lunge, and then we're gonna jump and switch sides. I like to keep my hands at my waist, helps my balance. You put your arms out, in front of you, whatever you need. Keep going, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Keep it going. Get down nice and low. Almost touch that other knee to the floor. The lower the better. All right, five more seconds, ladies. Keep it going. Keep it going. And we're done. Okay, that was rough, right? <laughs> All right, next one we're gonna do is the overhead press. Same thing, we only have the one weight, so we're gonna keep it with one side, 15 seconds each. This is working out our anterior delt as well as our medial delt in the shoulder. All right, here we go, press it up. Straight overhead, keep your shoulder blades back and retracted. We're gonna work this for 15 seconds. Remember to breathe. Breathe in when you're not lifting the weight, blow out when you are lifting that weight. Okay, let's switch sides. Again, same thing, blow out on the press. Breathe in when you're lowering it. Keep it going, nice and steady and we're done. All right, we're gonna start with our squats. Remember, don't make those knees go past your toes. Keep a 90 degree angle at, the, uh, at your knees down in here. There you go. Keep your back a little bit straighter. There we go. And you two, you're going a little bit too low. You wanna keep it more straight up, just like that. A little bit straighter. Okay, ready, go. I'll watch you go down. There you go, can you go down more? Yeah, but you're going, you're losing your back. <laughs> All right, we got 10 more seconds. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. To help you out at home, you can do this against the wall. It'll make sure your form is absolutely perfect while you're going. All right, our next workout's gonna be push-ups. But okay, 45 degree angle at the elbow, I mean at the shoulder, in your armpit. You can do them on your knees if you need a little help. If you wanna add a little weight to it at home, you can add a book to the middle of your back, a couple of cans maybe even. 
They go, go a little bit lower. You don't want to have your arms all the way out to the side like this. We've got 10 more seconds, ladies. You want to keep it at a 45 degree angle. You don't want to put any extra uh, tension on your anterior deltoid. We work that muscle out a lot. There we go, there we go. Next exercise here. Okay, our next one was the bent over row. Pick up that weight, start it off on the right or the left. And I was saying before, you don't want to put too much stress on your anterior deltoid. We work that out way too much. Okay, this one's working out our lats. There you go. This one we're doing for 15 seconds. Form's looking good. Maybe stay a little bit straighter this way. All right, switch sides. There we go. You want to maintain a nice straight back, keeping the normal curve in your lower back. And you want to squeeze your lat up so you almost feel a little squeeze in your shoulder blades up there as you're pulling up from the side. And we're good. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the jumping lunges. Same thing, maintain a 90 degree uh, angle with your knee as you're going down. There we go, perfect. And then switch. Keep our intensity up by going faster if you can. As soon as your feet touch the ground, shift them and go to the next position. And get as low as you can. Remember, don't make your knees go over your toes. And the faster you do it, the faster your heart rate's gonna go. All right, we got 10 seconds. There you go, see if you get a little lower. Five seconds, keep it up. Come on, a little faster. Don't rest your knee on the floor, and we're good. Last one is the overhead press. We're gonna take our weight. Again, one hand will start off 15 seconds aside. Press it straight up. Keep your shoulder blades retracted. There we go. And also, when you're coming back down, keep that 90 degree angle in your armpit as well. There you go. Perfect. All right, five more seconds. Nice and slow, remember to breathe. And switch sides. There we go, I don't hear any breathing. It feels good to breathe. When you're dying and you need to get that weight up there, blow some of that air out, it helps you out a lot, big time with that. There we go. Looking good, perfect, perfect. Two more seconds, and we're good. All right, so now we're gonna do this again. Last time through, really push yourself. Start off with those squats. If you can bring, uh, bring your speed up a lot, that'll really improve the intensity on here. Add a little weight. If you had a buddy, keep their hands on your shoulder. It makes it that much harder. Ready? Yeah. You feel it now? Yeah, I don't want to kill you there, no, all right. <laughs> there you go, keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds. There you go. Try to keep your knees back. There you go, keep that weight in the heels. Three more seconds. All right, next exercise is the push-up. Let's get down and do it. Start on your knees again. Make that 45 degree angle at the armpit. And go down, there you go. Same thing, add a little weight. Put a little book on your back. If you had a buddy over there, they could keep their arm on your in between your shoulder blades here. Sorry, I'm killing you. <laughs> there you go. Easy way on the knees, harder way on your, on your feet. <clears throat> keep going, keep pressing and breathing. There you go, there you go. Working out your pectoralis major, your chest muscle, your pec muscle. Large muscle in the front of your body here. There you go, as well as your triceps. All right, coming up next is the bent over row. Take our weight, right? Okay, let's get it going. Remember, 15 seconds aside. Really feel it in your lat, right in the back. Squeeze it up there to bring that weight up. There you go, keep your feet about shoulder width apart. We got five more seconds on this one. Remember to breathe and switch sides. There we go. In addition to working out your lat, you're also gonna work out your rear deltoid with this as you're bringing it up. Really important, keep that 45 degree angle in there. You really target that rear head of the deltoid. There we go. And we're good. Okay, our next exercise is the alternating lunge, lunge jumps. Let's do it, get right into it. Remember again, as fast as you can. Try to get that knee as low to the floor as possible. There you go. As soon as your feet touch, bring them right back up again. Keep your intensity up. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> Working out all of our legs. Hamstrings, glutes, quads, calves. <sighs> there you go. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Try to keep your hands up, it's harder. And done. Okay, the next one. Overhead press, here we go. Right away, grab that weight. Finish it off, nice and strong. Really control it on the way down. So many of us just let the weights fall down instead of 
actually letting your muscle do the work, you get way more benefits out of that. Five more seconds. One, switch sides, here we go. Keep pressing, keep breathing. And again, we're working out those deltoids, medial and anterior, front and middle. All right, five more seconds, ladies. Keep working, push hard, two, one. All right, and we're done. Nice job. High fives all around, you made it through. Very nice. All right, that was our full court press workout. Make sure you're subscribed, because every day we're gonna have a totally new workout for you. Keep your body in shape. And if you like, please send us your before and after photos, video testimonials. We like to see your progress. We wanna know how you're doing out there. Guaranteed by a month, you're gonna be in, have the shape of your life. I'm Michael Paterino. You're watching XFit Daily, and we'll see you next time. I thought the full court press workout was amazing. It was intense enough, but I could see myself doing it every day. Full court press is, is pretty packed, pretty synced, but you know, you really get a full body workout. I feel, I feel great. My favorite part of the workout was the jumping lunges. It was amazing. It's a little bit of cardio, and it really lifts your booty. My favorite workout, I'd say, is the squats. I really think it digs deep and lifts that booty up nice and tight. The most challenging part of the workout today for me was the push-ups, just because it requires a lot of upper body strength, and I'm working on it. I agree. I'd say that the most challenging workout was definitely the push-ups. Women don't carry as much upper body strength, so it's always a challenge, but I think we'll get there. Yeah.